color do you want me to paint the camper? Uh, a blue, blue. You want a blue? Yeah. What color do you want? Pink. Pink? How about blue and pink? Isn't that good? We want to paint it blue and pink? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. How about... Maybe we'll have to settle for pink sheets on your bunk bed. Good idea! And pink covers and pink pillows. Welcome back, guys. It's been, what, it's been like a, I feel like it's been forever. It's been like a week. Uh, we're in the shop. I wanted to show you guys some furniture that's been getting going on. That's what I've been working on. The desk, you might have seen that already. This blanket is kind of covering it up. Pretty cool project that's going to Houston. This is going to Fredericksburg, Texas, a dining room table. Probably one of the cooler things I've made. I've really enjoyed this. And there's the top on the floor. Look how beautiful that is. Book match walnuts, cool board going down the middle. So yeah, I thought you guys might want to check that out. Just the things that go on in the shop. We're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff like that on the Argosy soon. Let's go outside and let me show you what hasn't gotten done because not much has gotten done. Waiting on black tank still. It's been weeks and I'm getting frustrated. I don't really know what to do. Uh, until I get that black tank, I can't go any further on this. I did a little painting on it. Other than that, it's just been sitting there. I have the gray tanks, the axles. Everything I need basically sitting here except for the black thing. We did work though. I worked on the shell. Uh, oh, well, check that out. That is my new tow vehicle. A new Tundra for the, replace the old Tundra with a new Tundra. Well, it's not really new. It's a 2014 with 80,000 miles. I don't really buy, well, it's a bad idea to buy new vehicles. Just buy them used. But I'm hopeful, hoping that will be a really good tow vehicle. I think it will. I think it'll get the job done. So the shell, yeah, we got a lot of good work in it. The corner windows, we worked on those. I did not take those out, which I think was a good idea uh, after investigating them more and looking at them. Uh, and you're going to see more of that in this video. We took paint off. We stripped paint. Uh, I'll give you a quick look. And we put Vista windows back in. Total Boat hooked me up with some great products. Uh, the stripper for the paint and some aluminum boat sealant. You're going to see those in this video. So let's just jump right in and get started. Okay, so I was noticing, noticing that the rivets were hard to drill and there's so much Volcom in here uh, all along the frame of this window and that stuff is really hard to clean so it's now I'm second guessing myself. Maybe it's just too much work to get all this Volcom out. I mean I don't even know how to get it out. We tried heating it up with a heat gun and it softens a little bit but it's just going to be really difficult to peel all that away. I think now what we're going to try to do is water test it and then maybe try to clean up all around the the seams in there and then just put silicone in and and then test it again with water and see if it's watertight I think I already see water coming through right there see it see the puddle of water right there though just a seam kind of all right new game plan I think my dad and I both kind of decided it is just way too much work to take these windows off and way too much risk involved. We'd water tested these two and it was obvious that water's coming in right here on these corners. I think we can really scrape all this old silicone out, just work on it for a while and then re-silicone it and reseal this with something. Uh, and then re-water test it and hopefully it doesn't leak and then we can call it from there and be good with it. And that way I don't have to spend multiple multiple days pulling these windows out cleaning all that Volcom re-riveting doing all that mess so we're gonna start the process now of trying to clean all the silicone out and start we already started you can see here stripping some paint off we're gonna keep doing that as well so uh, today is all body work To take the paint off, we're going to be using Total Strip from Total Bow, which is a really good product. We've already played around with this some, and it is some powerful stuff, and it will peel this paint off pretty quick. So, watch this. This peels off in sheets almost. That's pretty cool. Oh, 
so satisfying. Okay, check it out. It worked probably close to two hours, um, maybe an hour and a half, just scraping this off, and it's going really well. I found that if you put it on and let it sit for 20, 30 minutes, that works the best, uh, and just do it in phases. Don't you kind of think when you see this that maybe, maybe we should polish it? I mean, there's a small part of me that thinks maybe I should just polish this because it's so cool seeing the aluminum, but I'm not going to. We're going to paint it. I don't know what I'm going to, I think I'm going to paint it white yet. I haven't fully decided, uh, but. This is working. We're gonna, I don't, I only have one gallon of this. We've gone through half a gallon, so I'm not quite sure we're gonna have quite enough to get it all done today, but we're gonna get close. Okay, so we've gone through a whole whole gallon of stripper. We're out now. We made it all the way around to this point. So we still have the rear end cap, this spot, and the top. I gotta get some more stripper. I gotta get another gallon. I think we'll do it. Uh, now what we're doing is just trying to clean up what's left. Um, a lot of that can be maybe hit with a sander. I'm also going through right now and taking off anything uh, that doesn't need to be on the shell like that. This vent here, I'm gonna go and pop that off. Get this down to the bare shell. Uh, and that way we can continue getting the paint off and sanding it, hopefully, uh, maybe possibly get it painted soon. We got quite a bit of sanding done on this. It's basically 120 grit, just going over it real quick. Um, I'm gonna do more work after I put the shell back on to the chassis. But what I wanna do now is work on the windows here. I wanna clean them up real good and get them ready to reseal. We can put the, the Vista windows back on the camper and seal those up. And so once I get the Vista windows and the four corner windows all cleaned up and sealed up, we can put all the windows back on and kind of start testing the whole shell for any leaks because I don't want to put it back on the chassis and have it leaking a whole bunch. I want all the windows sealed uh, and any holes sealed up. That way we're not leaking all over our new subfloor. So I'm going to start working on these windows now, try to get those cleaned up. All right, so the frames are mostly clean. It's a little bit of work. I kind of took two or three uh, re repetitive steps of applying stripper over the old adhesive and paint and then just peeling it off. So now where we're at is we've got the, the, the old silicone and even the old glazing, uh, which is just a hard plastic seal that was like a C channel that went over the glass. And it's all worn out and some places it's not even there anymore. Uh, so I'm gonna cut it out completely and try and get a nice square transition from glass to the sash and then we'll come in and clean it really well and try to silicone it. And I'm hoping that'll seal it up. We'll do a water test once we do all that and make sure 
and then I've got to come in and seal the cracks with some filler and stuff like that. The, the silver lining in all this is that it's getting painted, so uh, we don't have to worry about, you know, we can fill a lot of things and paint over it, I guess is where I'm going. So that kind of helps us out a little. All right, so I got this aluminum boat leak sealer from Total Boats. I'm gonna give this a shot in the window frames and just see how well this seals up those aluminum gaps that we have, those gaps in the aluminum. Um, this stuff has a tip you put on it and it mixes it as it comes out. So uh, let's give this, it's also sandable. So uh, once I apply it and it dries, we should be able to sand it uh, down to where we need it. Okay, one of the perks of being on YouTube is getting free stuff. And unfortunately for me, Delta sent me this power station, uh, the Echo Flow power station, and it is really, really awesome. Now, they're not paying me in any way. Uh, this is not sponsored. They just sent it to me and said, use it and let your viewers know what you think of it. And I think it's great. I use it to run. I've been using it on the Airstream a lot lately. You've probably seen it in some of my older videos. I've been running grinders, sanders. We tried to run a welder on it. Didn't quite handle that. Um, but any tool other than that that I've put out there, I've plugged it in and used it, and it, it'll, it'll run those tools for hours. So, uh, very cool product. You will be seeing me use this a lot on the build. Um, outside, I've, instead of dragging my extension cord out, I can just take this out there. Uh, there's a link in the description if you're interested in this. I would highly recommend you go check it out. We didn't get the window on yesterday because I forgot that the, the original rivets are size 1 8, 1 8 diameter. And so you drill them out with a 1 8 bit, but once you do that, you inevitably enlarge the hole. So we're putting 5 30 seconds rivets back in, which are too big to fit in the hole right now. So we got to go back through and everywhere we're putting a rivet, drill out with a 5 30 seconds drill bit. That way the rivets will fit. So we're going to do that now, and then we're going to get it riveted.
Okay, so we're having a little bit of a struggle with the silicone bead. The tape tr trick that I used on the other windows that I did in the shop, it worked really well. Uh, and I had really good success with it, but it's not working so good on these curved windows. And I'm not really sure why, but I'm just, when I pull the tape off, I'm losing some of the silicone. You can see in there, it's a really bad seal. So what I've had, to, what I'm having to do is basically run a bead in there and use my finger and push the silicone down in. And I've already done this window. I did it on the Vista window back there as well. The silicone's super messy. So when you smear it on the window, it's hard to get cleaned off. I've used some acetone in a rag, and if you kind of wipe with that, take that residue off. Uh, I feel like this is the only option I got, so I'm hoping I got my fingers crossed for uh, no leakage. Okay, so uh, the time has come to put, put the water to these windows and see if they uh, are watertight. The silicone's dry, the uh, um, sealant up here is all dry, so let's, uh, let's cross our fingers, because if these leak, it might be time to give up. Okay, so there's plenty of water dripping in on the floor. Looking in here, don't see any water on the window seal, which is a very big relief. These are the corners. This one was leaking really bad earlier in the video. It was just pouring through and there's no water in there. Let's check the other side. Same deal, no water. So we can feel pretty good about this. I've got the water leak taken care of on this window. As far as I can tell, we got no leaks anywhere. Yeah, I think it was a really good call not to pull those windows out. It would have been a ton of work. Uh, just getting the this Volcom out from the inside to get to the rivets would be a nightmare. And plus, I probably would have broken one. So what we have left to do is obviously we ran out of strippers, so we got to get the rest of this. We'll get that on the next run. Got two more windows to put in here and back there, and then these rear windows to clean up and seal at, like we did the front. Making progress, it feels really good. Uh, even though I really wanted to get everything done on the chassis, the black tank is still in limbo. I have no idea when that's gonna get here. Uh, so we're just gonna keep working on this body and I've got a buddy of mine, hopefully, Justin from Good of the Land, man. I'm counting on you. Hopefully he pulls through, he can repair all the dents and there's a ton of dents in this thing. You know, all down here and in the back. And he is the man for fixing that. So it's possible he may be coming here or once I get everything back together and the shell back on, I'm maybe trailer it up to his place. I want to say thanks to Total Boat as well for uh, their awesome products. That stripper really worked amazing. Uh, that was some awesome stuff. And then the, the aluminum seal seems to be working great uh, so far. So uh, they're awesome. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for seeing the product. There's a link in the description to all their stuff. So make sure to go check it out. Also, you get 50% off uh, with a coupon coupon with a coupon with a coupon code Andy Rawls. So. Take advantage of it. If you're remodeling one of these or if you work on boats and you need this stuff, I recommend it. It's good stuff. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. I know we've been lagging behind on the videos. I've had a lot of work going on, but I'm about to gear up and really start going on this thing. So uh, look forward to a lot more content coming y'all's way. Appreciate the support and we'll see you next time.